And so we enter... Quackanatus Blessing. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. It's not like a puzzle. Huh. Well, this is a good time to dwell on the fact that I just got a Pro Controller and oh my god, it's so squishy. It's great. Seriously, like, for somebody, like... The thumb... Like, if I put my default thumb positions, I land on the joysticks and the face buttons and the D-pad all perfectly and it's all fine and there's no nightmare like with the other controller where, like, I land past them. The bumpers are the size of my finger. And so I don't have to accidentally press the bumper's triggers at the same time. And the bumpers are so squishy. Oh my goodness, this is really soft. It's really... It feels like a real controller that actually costs money. <laughs> the, the Switch controller is jammed into that poor, sad thing. Just... They feel like a toy. It's really unfortunate. And I never have to use them again. Jinx, I guess. Or knock on wood. As we wait for the game, that's gonna force me to do that, probably. Are you gonna be a special loot item? You gotta be special, right? Yeah, that's like a super awesome looking crazy metal case that looks like a video game collector's edition to be hot, to be fair. <laughs> and it's the only thing here, so it's gotta be like really special. Equipment? Armor? <gasps> Rubber tights. Interesting. These invaluable tights are resistant to electricity. They they're made with something called rubber, an ancient technology that no longer exists in the modern age. <laughs> As he like scratches his ass. So it's the same. Same armor as the existing ones. I don't know what these numbers mean, by the way. It's like, that one's three and this one's three, but also they're seven and seven? Why are they three and seven? What does that mean? What does the seven mean? What does the three mean? Why do they have two different numbers? I still don't understand what's going on there. It'd help if there was words anywhere to explain what things mean. But it's just numbers with no context. Like, this is- these are- I assume these are attack values. I've gone this far assuming they're attack values. I don't really know for sure. It could just be level or value or something, but I assume it's attack value. But what does that mean? And why is three and seven? Like these guys, that's weird. These numbers match. 14, 14, 20, 20, three and seven. <laughs> I don't know why they don't match. Oh my God, I've got super pants that look ridiculous. This is great. I can change costumes for the first time ever between multiple options slightly. Which is basically just hat, no hat, pants, other pants, other pants. I have three pants now, of all things. Sure. Well, the other ones offer no bonus, and these ones offer shock resistance, so it's kind of a no-brainer to equip these, even if, though I look like a crazy, like, hat. Well, it, look, it works better from this distance. Up close, it looks slightly weird, but from here, it, it kind of blends together with just being dark pants. But yeah, the, the way they're outlined and nothing else is just slightly odd. Let's get in. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna do a nice, prolonged session today with my new Pro Controller, and we're gonna have a good time. And we get an orb. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a double reward. We get an orb and we get special loot. So now we know another kind of shrine for the first time. So... We have like three so far. We have one is the puzzle shrine, which is the vast, vast majority of them. Another is the combat shrine, which I don't like because they're kind of, so far they're all the same, just with different levels of the same enemy as far as defense and offense goes. And now we got this one where basically the puzzle was to get the shrine in the first place and the reward is the whole the whole shrine basically. Like I can forgive the fact that there's nothing in the shrine content wise because the, the the puzzle was opening it in the first place in the open world. It's like the it's almost like the equivalent of like a Korok Siege shrine in that you have to do an open world thing to get in. Oh my goodness, this feels good. It'll take some time getting used to the slightly different button layout, and I'm gonna screw up a few times probably. But yeah, this I now have a controller that feels like it's shaped like my hand, and that is that is welcome, especially after over 30 episodes of the other one. <laughs> So I want to go back north, but I'm also right here, and there's a peak over here, and I should look at a- it's a peak. Always check out peaks, right? Especially since I can teleport out of here the moment I, I finish checking the peak. Is that a shrine over there? Okay, I might have to check multiple peaks. I guess maybe we should just accept the fact that I'm probably going to finish exploring the entire map before I go to Impa. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe it's because I'm told what's going to be there. 
Like, go there, it's Impa. So I'm like, uh, well, now I know it's Impa. It's not like, go over here and something mysterious is there. Which is dumb. I understand that's dumb. Because, like, Impa's mysterious, probably, and probably gives you stuff that are new things that I don't know about. And, like, obviously. But there's something demystifying about, like, knowing who I'm going to meet, as opposed to, like, I don't know, there's a rock over there. What if you put, what if you tip it over? Maybe just, maybe a Cerberus will jump out, you don't know. Possibilities are endless. Not endless, it's a video game and it has pre-existing assets. <laughs> but you know. Also, dang, I can climb fast. And also, dang, I'm, okay, I was at risk of not climbing anymore. Ooh. This seems noteworthy. Are you an important body of water that's surrounded by stuff? Curious. That's the final goal, but I gotta check out the ores and stuff over there, right? Let's see. Oh, right, I've got like... I got like the more generic crappy weapons. So I've got perfect mining materials. Don't bother me, don't bother me, don't bother me. That's the sound of them bothering me! No! Ay, ay, caramba! I don't even know what Luminous Stone is for, but it should be mine. Ow. This would really hurt if I was less damage resistant and less healthy. Oh, that hurt me. Totally thought I was going to avoid that. Am I taking a... Oh, that was half a heart. For a second there, I was taking a... Cor wow, he's got great aim. I really thought he was going to start missing sooner than that. Jeez. I think I've escaped now. Oh, it got dark. No. No, wildlife, don't. Why must we fight? Did you just kill yourself? No, you didn't. Rawr! You earned that. Kind of. I don't know. Don't attack me at random. You're not supposed to be like the monsters, but you are like the monsters. It is weird thinking that, like, a, in this game, a ram is more similar to a bokoblin than an ox, for example. Just because of how their behavior reacts to your presence. I'm at the peak and there's nothing here, maybe. This you? This you? Yeah! Yeah ha ha! Bye bye Did <laughs> you ever get tired of it? Just totally non-responsive. Hit! Oh, or. Oh, I almost killed that ox with a falling rock. Still might. <laughs> kind of looked like it still might happen. Oh, wow. That is... <laughs> one was flint and one was everything imaginable under the sun. <laughs> that is a shrine. That is absolutely a shrine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's test motion. Nope. Let's test motion controls on this guy. And it still feels w weird. It's like finnick. Yeah, there's like a weirdness to it. Is it? Okay, so it is shaky. I have to like hold it up. Okay. So people were talking about whether or not it would interfere with being behind stuff. And they, t they, t they act like I was crazy for suggesting that idea. It totally does, actually. <laughs> Uh, being, when I hold it under the table I'm sitting at, it totally does interfere with the signal and make it jittery and crappy. Whereas when I hold it up above it, it gets way better. So, checkmate. Friend! Oh, there's a heart here. This is important, I need to check this out. Why is there a heart, Lake? Also, uh, let's pillage its depths. Ah! Oh la la, he says. I... Right, I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got, I've got like a desk and a wire sticking out of my controller right now because it's not charged yet. I think it was. I don't think it comes charged. And uh, microphone in front of me. I'm not gonna be waving it around like a lunatic when I want to use it. <laughs> it's a bad idea. 
<laughs> hey! I'm just trying to work up the courage to talk to her. Just... Let me, yeah? Nope, rival time. Uh, I won't let you stand in the way of my destiny. Don't know what you're talking about. It's fine, though. Oh, you. Oh, you're one of the... people. <laughs> Gerudo, there we go. I almost said Chica, which is wrong. Hi. Sava Sava. Hmm? Are you? Could you be the Vo I am destined to meet? Huh. No. No, I don't think so. But then... This is the Pond of Legend, is it not? The one where a person finds true love. Mm. Yet all I see right now is that strange Vo on the other side of the pond. Could I be the one- the wrong one? Not the wrong one. Is there another heart on the map? Is that a clearly visible heart? Oh, it totally is. It's super obvious. Should I put- there's no heart icon to put on here, though, to make it more obvious, huh? I need more icons. Can we all agree on that? I think we can agree on that. 75 out of 100. 74 out of 100. Oh. You've got a cap on how many you can put down. Interesting. So I have 25 things on the map right now, and I have to get rid of them eventually. But I think we can all agree that this game could use a larger variety of stamps. Like a few, like maybe this would be like the main page, and there'd be like a few alternate pages to go on. Because uh, I could use like a heart, or like a number of other icons that are more reminiscent of things that someone might try to map. I think that'd be useful. So this is clearly important. But I don't have an explanation for why. So did she, did she suggest she was at the wrong one? Mm. Well, that Vaux over there doesn't seem so, uh, so bad, but I was always told not to make the first move. Huh? But all he's doing is looking over th here, then quickly looking away. Does he have no idea what to do next? Let's talk to the other guy. Let's do some matchmaking, you coward. Phew. Uh. I'm so glad. Oh, by the way, my name is Wobbin. Aww. To be honest, I lost my way earlier. I closed my eyes for a minute, and when I opened them, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen was standing before me. Mm. At first I thought I was dreaming, or that she was a ghost or something. I mean, it's not every day you run into a gorgeous woman in the middle of nowhere. Mm. But, figment of my imagination or not, it was love at first sight. And so I've decided to gather my courage and go confess my feelings to her. I decided long ago that I, that when I met the girl of my dreams, I'll hand her a blue nightshade and confess my love. Aww. If I had blue nightshade, I'd head straight over to that woman. I mean, imagine her and a blue nightshade. Uh. That'd make a beautiful scene, don't you think? Oh. Don't I already have one? I can't tear my eyes away from her. Oh. I want to talk to her, but I don't have anything worthy of, of being a gift. If I only I had blue nightshade. Oh, that flower. <laughs> ah, the smell of it. I can almost imagine it right now. It's so clear, almost like it's... Wait, do you have some blue nightshade on you right now? Please, you must give me that flower. It couldn't be more important, if you say so. Sup? Mm, thank you. This is so perfect. It's exactly what I needed. Ooh la la. Mm. I... I just... uh. When I look at her, my my legs freeze up, my throat goes dry. I I can't do it. Please, could you give could you take the gift to her? Sure. Uh. Seems like a questionable plan, but sure. Thank you. I'll give you back this blue nightshade. Congratulations, mm -hmm. it's your own stuff you've got. Oh, and don't forget to mention it's a present from me. What if I don't mention that though? Is my face all glowy because of this thing's like reflecting the light back at him? Down you go. No, that's not- that wasn't as exciting as I was hoping. Yay! Chest physics. Ooh. That was fun. Hey, you wanna fall for this deadbeat over here that's afraid to talk to you? Hmm? What's this? I get from that guy. Hmm? I see. So you're delivering these flowers for that Vo over there. There's so many flowers here already. <laughs> Look at this place. I don't sense any deceit from you. Uh. 
So you're the one who gave me the flowers. Uh, I'm sorry. Could could it be that you don't like blue nightshade? Why would you say that? This is my favorite kind of flower. How did you know that anyway? Are you a Yiga spy? N no, that's not it. Blue nightshade just happens to be my favorite flower. Long ago, I decided to give my true love this flower. Mm. Your true love. So this is what you call destiny. You're the vote that destiny has chosen for me then. Alright? Go ahead and speak your piece. Oh? What do you mean? No, that's not right at all. Huh? I'm talking about what a vo says to a vi. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Huh? You know, something like, I like you, or please go out with me. Uh. Oh, uh, sure. Asking so directly, how could I possibly say no? Huh? What? Mm. Oh wow, did you hear that? She said she likes me and she wants to go out. This is the first time anyone has, has ever said that to me. And for it to come from the woman of my dreams... It's such an amazing feeling. I'm so glad I was born into this world. There's no way I can truly thank you, but please, take this as a token of my thanks. Oh. Okay. Huh? What? That's it? That's all you're willing to offer him for everything he's done for you? Uh, no, of course not. Here's, here's what I meant to give you. Oh. Uh. Much better. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> I guess I owe you too. I hope you have as much luck finding it someone as I did. Thanks to you. Hey, I finished the thing immediately because I just already had done crap uh, exploration. I think that's how most of them work, actually. It seems a lot of them are just like, hey, do you have this item? Cool. So if I just collect a bunch of items, then I might pre-complete a lot of quests, which I think has happened twice now. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a present from a Vogue made me much happier than I thought it would. Huh? Oh, you're still here. I really owe you for helping me out, out with my, uh, for helping out my Vo. It's true that he's more than a, than a bit on the shy, nervous side. That's nothing a little push in the right direction can't solve, though. I hope you get to meet your true love soon, like I did. Mm. Hmm, 120 rupees. I may have gone a little overboard. Could you return it? Huh? Hey, I can hear you. You should follow through on what you said you're going to do. Ah. Huh? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm rolling in money and I just spend it arbitrarily on chunks of arrows whenever I feel like it because I'm like, yeah, more rupees. But that's the that's the power of adventuring. You just start getting a, just covered in resources. Why am I avoiding that bull that's not going to attack me anyway? I'm like going around them on the slope because I want to get to the top because high points might have things on them. They don't, but could have. You never know. Alright, so that's resolved. I thought I'd have to come back here. But maybe not. Over there. Whoa! Is that the shrine? I think it's just pointing me at the shrine already. No! Oh, it's like love at first sight. First of all, it's uh... Well, I mean, I'll be there soon enough. It's fine. We'll keep it marked that way. Another shrine?! Oh, you've been so good to me, game. And I still have that one shrine waiting for me in the water somewhere. What is that? It's all glowy. Oh, this is a whole town area. Well, that's interesting. I suppose it gives me something to explore when I finish up here. Rather do the shrine first. Oh. <laughs> it double procced the, uh, the intro sound. Look at this place. It even has the fitting, like, beach music playing. Nice little coastal area. Neat. Let's get this place activated. Get back in there. Bring me down! Load faster. <laughs> I'm fully in the skip every animation territory already, because I'm just like, no, just, just let me in. Just let me into the shrine. I want to see what's in there. A weighty decision. Yarin Shrine. Alright, so you are the weight. The titular weight. Okay. This seems straightforward for starters. Do -do 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 -do. 
I did it. Let's just take you with me. Just in case. Ah. Bummer. Alright. Do 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 do. Oh! oh, that's not what I was planning for. Yeah. All oh, right. Oh. You can't get me, apparently. Are you not coming over here? Weird. He, like, didn't react. I was not- <laughs> I did not plan on this thing coming and hit and nailing me like that. Whoops. Oof. Bad times for me. Hey! Oh, arrows. Was it a miss? Or did some of them not break? How are we doing on melee weapons? I don't like- I don't like you. Oh, right, I can't drop it like that. You know what? That's so specific, though. Yeah, I'll find another one if I need it. I don't like this thing. I find it annoying. There we go. Guardian swords are great. Alright, obviously I need to put you by this wall. Because you can't be... Wait, you can't... Oh. I thought for sure I wouldn't be able to pick that up. There we go. Sure. Another sword for me. It's a knight's broadsword. That's better than you. At least damage-wise. Obviously, there are different movesets. So there's reasons you might want one or the other, and so on. There we go. Aha! Right, we should sort things. That way everything kind of makes sense the way it's laid out. There we go. Uh, button, button, who's got the button? Alright. I know what to do with you! Ta-da! <laughs> the freeze frame. At least I can confidently say that when the ca when the camera pans away like that, it's out ever the game's frozen, so I don't have to worry about getting about getting hit. But yeah, I was so sure I'd have to put the box by this thing and climb over to get the chest. But, the, but they made it metal. Interesting choice there. All right, so the the weight part of this place has been pretty clear so far. So that was a good test to make sure that you brought the box with you up to that point. Oh, I may want that chest. Because it will also have a weight. And that may be necessary. I ran too much. Dude, you come here. Uh, the controls are pretty decent here. So joystick controls direction and D-pad controls distance. Which gives you a lot of control over what's going on. So which way are you guys connected? You guys are connected, okay. Just in case, I'll bring you up here. Ah, you aren't metal, see? That seems important. What you got? It's an opal. I'll take it. So you can't be- yep, you can't be picked up that way. Should be able to just transfer along, right? And then just put it back, basically. I guess the other chest isn't really important so far. Ta-da! Oh, that's the end. Never mind. That was really straightforward. Mine! Yeah, the complexity of the puzzles is all over the place, really. Probably because of the the uh, non-linear nature of the order in which you can find them. Or so I would assume. Now, I've got five spirit orbs. I should have gone back and spent mine, but maybe I'll make the trip count and have eight next time. Because I've got a lot of them on the, on the map right now. I might just stock up, honestly. Ah, time of day has changed. Significantly. Who all lives down here? I assume that was the shrine that overlooks the place, so you can find this place again. I feel very something. What's that? Did you want some information from me? Let's see. 
Meat dishes are well suited for refilling your health, and, it can, and you can expect some special effects from dishes with fishes. <laughs> uh, is that the sort of thing you look curious about? Her name's Letty. Alright, you have fun, Letty. I'll letty you get back to your business. Ha. <laughs> nope. It'll never see me coming. Ha ha ha. Hardy lizard. Uh, maximum hearts. I guess that's about it. I guess that's a really straightforward name to give it, I guess. A boat oar is surprisingly effective as a weapon. Made for paddling boats, but it was made sturdy enough to fight uh, strong currents. Maybe it's useful for self-defense in a pinch. Neat. Hit. <laughs> Look at this. All right, <laughs> having our little moment. Who lives here? No one? It's mine now. I live here. If only. <laughs> I think that's called squatting. This is a really beautiful area. Mostly empty though, of people I mean. Got him. Oh, he does have eyes. <laughs> I didn't see him at first. Are you a traveler? Welcome to Lurelin Village. I'm Rosal. I'm the head of this village. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have about local things. Eventide Island? The large island in the sea to the east of the village is called Eventide Island. There are some legends about that island, so the village fishermen tend to avoid it whenever possible. When you're on the island, you start hearing voices. I don't know if it's real or just a dream, though. The village? Lurland Village is a fishing village. When I was younger, I used to be a fisherman myself. The fish here are so fresh and delicious. You should try some at least once. Anything else you'd like to know? Even Tide Island? I, well, crap. Sorry. I went autopilot into the fact that it was in the second slot, because that's where a different thing was a moment ago. There we go. The ocean. There are tales passed down of sunken treasure in the ocean around here. I would look for myself, but if if I were a little younger, but I've grown old. But you look like you've got a young pair of legs and a strong back. Uh, do you want to look into my in my stead? I'll, I'm on it. I couldn't be happier to hear it. Now, according to the tales, the treasure sleeps in the center of the golden triangle. Oh, by the by, did you happen to have a boat? If not, I can lend you my raft. It's tied up on the wharf. Help yourself. I'm not bringing it back. It's a good thing for respawn times, right? Oh, That's not a shrine quest. I really hoped it was a oh, uh, shrine quest. Ruins? If you walk east of the village and keep going for a bit, you'll end up at Palmeray Beach. Yeah, Palmeray Beach. There's some old ruins there. One of the youths of the village, Garini, goes there often to poke around. If you're interested, you should go see them. Garini should be able to tell you a lot more about them. That's all there really is. Okay. Look at this place. Soka Point. Where's the... Let's see here. Treasure sleeps in the center of the Golden Triangle. Uh, sorry, mixing up my, my map locations there. Golden Triangle? Are you at the Golden Triangle? But that's not a sunken treasure. Oh. Right here. Probably. That's that's a triangle. Although any three points can be a triangle, but that looks like that that part in particular looks kind of conspicuous, I'd say. And this is where we were before, I think. No. Here, right? Yeah, that's the that's the coast we were on before. So I kind of skipped around up here and then ended up back here. I keep almost going towards uh, Impa, and then I deflect away like a mathematical graph of a limit. <laughs> supposed to go all the way over there, huh? That might take... Oh, that won't take a while. It's directly outside of here, actually. Alrighty, I'll give you a shot. I'll humor you. Right. 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 
All right. Well, so the journey begins of the brave warrior Link, who didn't give a crap about nature and was like, I'll just be my own wind. I'm too bad ass to wait for real wind, as it turns out. Oh, gotta redirect a little bit. Yeah, that's the triangle right there. You can see, like, there's three points. Shouldn't take too long to get over there. I guess the water must be shallow. How is there a legend for this thing that's really easy to get to? Like, I get that, uh, it's probably a magnetic thing, and I probably need to work to get it a little bit. Whereas everybody else would have to try to get it by hand, but... Surely they could find it really fast if that's- if this is the right spot. Yay! I did a murder. Oh. Oh. Things I did not expect to have happened today. There we go. Whew. That was almost bad news. Alright, slow down, slow down. Oh, that's a lot of treasure. That's a lot of treasure. No. Oh. Still, no. <laughs> okay, that's, that's silly. The sail was getting in the way, even though the angle wasn't right for it to get in my way. Oh no. I, I can fix this. Treasure! 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 The Sentinel of the Golden Triangle is for treasure chests, apparently. Anything else? Just some miscellaneous fish doing their thing? I don't like you over there? There we go. Just didn't want it, any interference over there right now. What you got? One million dollars! No. Thunderblade. Oh. But it's so cool, even though thunder is immediately less useful than fire and ice because of the environmental implications. Um... I do really like the Guardian Sword. Oh, I'll drop it. We'll get more of those, probably today. Do 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 do. Hey, more money. Are you the special one? One of you's gotta be special, right? You got a whole quest dedicated to you. Huh. Is this the quest or not? Center of the Golden Triangle. Oh yeah, I'm just supposed to go tell Roselle now. Alright. I guess that's that then. Uh... Right, that's the one. I guess I'll just warp on back and abandon his boat out here like a monster. Yay! 